I think the biggest myth is that all engineers are male and that they're really boring. <laughs> I would say that they all wear glasses, but I do wear glasses. <laughs> I mean, we don't wear white coats, hate to break it to you, but we don't. Well, we're all a bit weird, to be honest, but I think that makes for coming up with good ideas. <laughs> it's not just a boring job where you sit at a computer and, like, crunch math. You get hands on with the product, you get to make things, break things. Yeah, in a good way, there's a lot more chaos than I expected. Matching engineering and beauty together is something really special and something Dyson does really well. Definitely since joining hair care, I'm aware of how, how damaging I've been to my hair in the past. A healthy hair can take a lot of different shapes, but on a microscopic level, it's hair that's got the cuticle and the cortex kind of intact. It doesn't have split ends. The hair is naturally healthy, but climate, UV light, heat, hair drying, brushing, all of this can damage your hair. There's a saying that one of my university tutors used to say is like, you can't design a hat that fits every single head. We want to understand how we can create products that work across all of those different hand types. And one of the things that I've been heavily involved in is exploring really coily type four hair because it's such a diverse hair type and we're really trying to, to create something new and exciting for them. We have a purifier in every room. Have you used that? Really? Okay. As an air pollution expert, um, I'm still finding out about new gases that I wasn't actually aware of even last week. This year was the first time exposure to air pollution was mentioned on someone's death certificate. Having a respiratory illness and then understanding air pollution has genuinely changed my like habits and behaviours. It's not just about making purifiers. It's about understanding how air pollution affects everyone around the world. We've got asthma being quite a large problem in kids at school. Allergies seem to be on the rise. We've got these backpacks out, looking at what the air quality is like in cities all around the world, giving school children a chance to wear it and say, oh, do you know what, if I walk this way to school, when I cross this really busy road, for some reason, this has got really bad air quality. How about I take a shortcut through the park? I think air pollution is only going one way and Dyson is going to have to tackle it head on. We haven't done it to sell products, it's to make people's lives better. Obviously pet ownership's booming. One in two people, I think, let their pet sleep on their bed. Allergies, bacteria, poo, <laughs> all sorts of horrible stuff into your bed. We've done our global dust study, which has then given us some information about how we can then design our machines to deal with those different things better. We need to make our products get more dust off the floor and then separate it better from the air with less energy. And we need to be producing less waste. As engineers, we're responsible for delivering the technology and capability that lets us do that. I'm really excited to see where the battery research goes. I think that's a hugely important area right now. That combined with the robotics for the knowledge that will bring to machine learning optimization for solving tasks in a safe manner that, say, people won't need to do. What might seem like a linear process, like, oh, here's a hairdryer, here's the air wrap, what's next, like the, the corral. But actually, we try so many different things along the way. I think you have to be quite determined because it's almost certain that the first prototype you make is not going to work. So you have to be prepared to, to fail and to keep going until until you've got what you need. And I think ultimately we can design products to make people's days a little bit better, to make the world a better place. I can't say too much about it, but what we're working on is really, really exciting stuff.